everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm just going to show you my tow vehicle we have saved long and hard for this vehicle and we're really really happy to share it with you we can finally get to a point where we're able to tow our caravan so it's very liberating very freedom provoking so we're going to get out of the car and we're just going to do a little walk around and show you this car and it is a second hand car because we are not rich rich family i'd love to be a rich family but we're not so it's a second hand car but it will do us just fine for the interim until one day maybe perhaps we could afford something a, a lot newer but i just want to show that you can still do this trip and you can still go around and travel even if you haven't got like huge sums of money to purchase the biggest and the best so stay with me and i'll show you our new car so the big reveal is going to happen so this is our new car here we go can you guess what it is <laughs> there you go there it is there so we have bought a holden colorado it's silver and it's got everything that we need on it, hasn't it, Toby? Mm, it does. Um, oh, sorry, Toby, I forgot. Me bad. So we've got our uh, clear view mirrors that we really, really wanted. Well, I wanted them. Um, well, you wanted tow mirrors. Yeah, so we've got a tow, bo uh, tow bar. Well, we don't actually have the tow bar because um, the place screwed it up. Oh, no, I have to start again. We have a bull bar. <laughs> it's not a tow bar. <laughs> we have a bull bar. We've got a snorkel. A safari one. Safari snorkel. And it's a uh, dual cab ute. 2.8. Litre. Diesel. Four cylinder. Four cylinder turbo. And this is the inside. It's a little messy because we've we've started to live in it, basically, haven't we, Toby? Well, we've started moving into we've it. We've moved into it. So We've um, put some new floor mats in. We purchased some floor mats. And, and some seat covers. And just seat covers for temporary. So, going to the back, that's what the seats looked like. So, so that's what the seats actually looked like originally. Sorry, it's a bit messy. There's been a few messy things, but... Yeah, we've put some of these rubber mats down. And on one of the rubber ones, they've got like we a little dish and that will catch all the rocks. We should show whatnot. the cup holders that you So use. when I used to have my old car, I used Which to have was a, a Toyota Yaris. I used to have a Toyota Yaris and it used to have these in it. And when I upgraded to the Captiva, they didn't have them anymore. And I was so upset because these are so handy. So they sit next to the driver's and passenger side over there toby's got one as well and you can pop your drink on there and it says having to put it in the middle because because there's the, only a single cup holder in the middle hang on let me move the phone case in the middle you'll see cup holders but they always get in the way so i don't really like them. from like shifting and all that it's so, an automatic yeah so we've got an automatic as i said it is a turbo diesel four by four i'm gonna turn it on and toby's no don't oh i was gonna say you shouldn't probably turn it on here oh toby's going for the full the full tour he's going to show you the engine because this is toby's forte isn't it it's very heavy the lid it doesn't actually come with any um struts to help you lift it up okay, that's the engine a bit noisy it's got set up for dual battery, so if you want um, the dual battery system, it's set up for that. It's also got a tow pro on it. Yeah, so we, should we go I'll show them that? Just show you that, but that's the engine there. It's in pretty good nick, and we've got everything that we need. Electric windows. Mm -hmm. No bonnet struts, so no bonnet struts to go bad. So that's the motor. That's not my forte. That's the business. That's the business end. Yeah. So down here, it came with a Red Arc tow system. And it's also got a canopy on the back. Hang on, let me... And you can open up the canopy. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. You have to do it here. Okay. Oh, 
now the whole freaking neighbourhood's coming. <laughs> Go to the Robertson Street one, he said. It'd be fun, they said. <laughs> Jesus, that's hard. Are you getting it? No, you're in the way of the camera. It's very um, webby. Spider webs. Yeah, so you can open them up and you can get into the back and it's quite roomy in the back here. We haven't set this section up yet. We've just put a little rubber mat on to stop things falling around, but we have to actually set the back up here because this will be our garage. There is a, a little part down the back there to, for the dual battery system. You just got to set it up. Also, what I thought was good, like so if we're going to have a gas bottle in the back, there's a window here which we can open to vent it. Yeah, I don't here. think we probably need to too much. I think we'll probably vent it when we have a gas bottle. Because you can never be too careful. It also has a roof rack. Uh, on the top, but we just need to put another one on this section of the roof, which we are saving for at the moment. But otherwise, yes, that's Going our... Going to the passenger side. That's our new car. Heat the passenger side. Yep. That's the passenger side where Toby lives when we're travelling. There's plenty of room. The roomy dual car. It's got a dual glove box. Sorry, all the COVID masks. That's uh, remnants of COVID. Got sunglasses glasses. holder. Hang on, I didn't see that. The glasses right. holder up there. And um, sun visors. Sun visors, but unfortunately... And there's also a spot there for your pen. It's a tradie car, so it doesn't have a mirror on my side. N it. I'll have to put one on there. <laughs> there's also a slot under the dash where you could put a CB. Yeah. And there you've got the classic old Holden My Link. Here it is. Um, it doesn't actually there. have inbuilt sat nav, you have to use your phone to, to access it, it. So we may get Apple CarPlay popped in here at some point. Uh, not yet, but mm -hmm. we probably will. You can actually Copyright. Change, you can change the head units out for the Apple CarPlay. So we'll probably do that. Oh, it has blue um, lights on the dash. Yeah, blue lights on the dash. We'll show you the night vision. So I'll just show you the night stuff now. So here we are, it's night time and this is the car at night mm -hmm. and there's the bluish type mm -hmm. and speedo and odometer and, and, when you um, yeah. and when you turn the lights on Then when you turn the lights on the middle comes up There's blue and the oh, radio blue controls and the, radio. and the steering wheel controls And all the controls here And then to turn the lights on we have a little special thing on ours that you can actually change the um, direction of the beam so it can either be do it. low so toby's just going to do it now you watch it come slowly down you see it's slowly coming down so you can have it more focused or you can have it more distance the car also has fog lights which i'll go around the front and see and they're in the bar bumper bar so there they are, nice and bright. And then we've also got spotlights. Toby, a car's coming. Get ready. There we go, nice and bright. Whoops, turn it off quick. <laughs> and that's our spotlights, so nice and bright. Bit hard there's a switch to... under the dash to turn yeah. them on. Yeah, so there's a switch under our dash to turn them on. Um, took us a little while to find it, but we finally did. So that's the car at night. And we know that everything works. And then there's also a light in the canopy. And then there's on. also a little light that we have in the canopy. It's a bit dark, so just bear with us. Well, probably won't be able to see it. There we go. Up there, it gives us a nice light in the back of here when oh, it starts. Oh, that rubber smell. Yeah, we don't like I it. I did much. open that so that way it can vent a bit. So, under the seats, there is a little bit of storage, I guess, you know, if you want to chuck your iPad down there and or the some uh, money or whatever. Then, on know. the other side, there's a jack. And on the other side, you have your jack and everything else that you yep. need. Just under here is your jack. It's not a John is definitely a Jack. 
That was a dad joke. <laughs> yeah. Armrest. Armrest. Just classic utilitarian style vehicle, as Toby would put it. You've got um, some access points there for um, glove box. 12 volt. Glove box in here. Yeah, got a glove box. So. Not glove box, um, center console yeah. and there's like a USB in there. Everybody has those. A USB. Uh, 12 volt car socket so you can charge your phones and all that. Yep. So pretty much there's quite a lot of them in this car there's three yeah so it's gonna do us just fine for an interim period and it's in really really super good condition it's a bit dirty at the moment it's an LTZ. we need to we do need to to wash it don't it's we it's an LTZ yes it is an this LTZ is where we actually got it from do you want a laugh is it going on there I don't know hang on let me have a look I don't know if I can see it hang on yeah, you can see it now. Dun, dun, dun. We bought a Holden from a Ford. Dealership. <laughs> a dealership. <laughs> they were very good there, though. Not going to complain. So, this is our new tow vehicle. We're pretty happy with it. Reversing camera. Yeah, we've got a reversing camera. I'm trying to not show you the number plate. <laughs> tow hitch. Tow hitch there. We're just waiting for Wayne Phyllis Ford to actually give us a new one because apparently it's missing. So they're actually going to purchase us a new one. And also, I'll cover up the number plate right now. And what? there's also a seat here. You can sit there or you can pull the tailgate down and sit on there. It's got yep. a checker plate on it. The only issue is, is it doesn't unlock with all the doors. So you have to use the key to unlock yeah. it, which is actually kind of good. So. No door lock to go bad on the tailgate. Yeah. All right, then we'll just show you the full car in its glory shut and shut everything up. All right, this is our new car. Not new, but new for us. And it's beautiful. Like, it's so nice to drive. Um, you feel really quite high in it. Um, yeah and it's because it's got a turbo it's kind of a bit funny i've done a few little squealies in it i'm a bit of a rebel apparently but it's taken me a little while to get used to i'm really really super bad at parking but i'm getting better um, the more i uh, do it like i'm parking at work now pretty good i actually did a nailed it car park yesterday toby you would have been proud <laughs> um so yeah, it's also got the all-terrain tyres on it, which we do need to get new ones. So There's we also will a spot for that. a um, aerial for a CB. Yeah, so we can pop our um, CB aerial here, which we will do at some point. But yeah, really good nick and it's... It's a 2014. It's a 2014 model. So thank you for joining us um, as we show you our new tow vehicle. We're pretty happy and Toby's happy that we finally got here because he was getting very distressed by the whole scene, weren't you? Like, yeah, didn't think we were ever going to get here, did we? It took us a really long time to save. Um, and that's what I'm sort of saying about the saving side of things. This has taken us a really long time to save for. Uh, but it's worth it. You know it what is I worth want to it. Do? I want to put lights on these. So thank you so much for joining us. It's a bit sunny here. Yes. My eyes are like, yeah, sweet. Mine are worse because Swelching. I'm not even wearing any sunglasses. So we hope that you will come along with us on our uh, new adventures in our new car, which is new to us, even though it's not new, and our caravan, which we will be starting to organize very, very soon and to take on its maiden voyage. So stay tuned. Thanks guys for joining us. Bye. Bye.